I'm 15 years old and live a crazy life. It's another closet over here. <laughs> My mom is a world famous singer. How much are these clubs again? Well over 200,000. I play at OT under the bright lights. Come on, Romello. No me. Hey. And I have to balance family, friends, school, and fame. Bro, why don't they take my Ellis, bro? I'm gonna start you the second half. You miss, I swear you're coming out. I bet. There's anyone who can do it. Wait a minute. No. I'm the one. Push it, push it. Run, Melo, run to the corner. This is the first practice back from break. Shoot it. Been off for two weeks, so trying to get our guys back in game shape. We all feeling rusty. I need a ball. I need, I need a ball. Stop talking and listen. Coach Fraser, he pushes you a lot, but he's only trying to make you better. You're looking to be scared. Hey, you don't want to give me that ball because I was about to kick it. But it'll help in the long run. We're in, we're in a good position because I, I don't think anybody's working as hard as we are. I, I really don't. This dude is in here every day. But now I want to challenge him to start watching the game a little differently. I'm trying to show that I can be trusted in the game and on the floor. If you're not sweating, you're not working. I need y'all to push yourself on this next drill. We're a good team. We're getting ready to start the season. Now beat them. Sprint. Sprint to everything. Sprint. 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 Our practices are usually pretty intense. Hello. Get your together. Let's go. We move a lot faster, and you got to be a lot more locked in than what I had to do at my old school. Jaden crossed me twice. He did. I'll give it to him. But I mean, like, it happens. It's basketball. Next play. I think for Melo, the biggest thing for him is believing in himself, you know. Good shot, boy. Let's go. Right now, I'm really focusing on defense and focusing on making the right decision to have the ball in my hands. Get help right here. Get help. Come on. Come on, Melo. You're not six feet tall, so you got to come in. You got to be different in some capacity. So. I feel great for the season. And the goal is to win the chip. Chip. More time me, I don't say too much. Some man are fake too much. I'm too blessed to be getting that stress, so I don't really pray too much. You know, when I'm not hooping or anything, it's where I like to chill at. It's my safe space for real. I've lived in around maybe 10 different houses. This mattress set gift I got recently, I keep them separated from all my other backpack. You're not putting those on the floor. What makes my room mine is I like to decorate it. I try to create like a chill, dark vibe. My couch is black, my bed is black. Although she's black, everything's black, so I've done that at every house I've lived in. But this is my first time putting my jerseys on the wall. This was my first ever AAU team. This jersey was huge on me. And then this right here, this was my first ever track meet. I got second. I ran track all my life until this year. Yeah, it for sure helped me a lot because we'd be running in basketball. And then this jersey, my first ever camp I went to. That's kind of where like people started to figure out who I was more as a basketball player than as Monica's son. I would say my bedroom is a safe place. I could just go in there and be alone, just chill. Now we come over to my bed. Nobody really goes in there. It's where I take my 12 hour deep sleeps. I gotta have the silk sheets and silk pillows. It's just not comfortable if it's not there. The Tiger Tiger was the first anime I watched. Now, I don't think I can live without it, so. I put a Attack on Titan poster up. I like Aaron, cause like he always stood up to everybody. You see the thing where it's like freedom? I just like that. I got a couple other favorite enemies. I like, I like Death Note, Demon Slayer, Erased, Dragon Ball Z. Before I go to sleep, I usually turn on Hulu so I can watch anime. It helped me go to sleep. Oh, it also, it also keep me up too, so. My clothes are really just everywhere, I ain't gonna lie. Outside, might throw on some, some of these ricks. These Maharas. Another pair, I like, I like these shoes too. Yeah, I mess with these shoes a lot. They, they, they super comfy, like they got the cushion inside. You know, and they, they look hard too, so. I like them shoes, I'm gonna start wearing them shoes outside a little bit more. <laughs> it's getting late, appreciate y'all coming out. I gotta be at OT early in the morning. You ain't gotta go, but you can't stay here. I had to go to the locker room, change very quickly, and rush to the weight room because James did not play that. Go, go. Keep it moving. Don't sit and talk. Keep it moving. Yeah. Oh, Melo got energy today. I'm gonna be honest. When I first when I first came, I didn't I didn't really like James. 
You wanna help me put this on? Yeah, I'll do it. Be in here hopeless, bro. I swear. <laughs> I swear. He was always hard on me and stuff, but like, if you do the work, James is a really cool dude. Bro. Well, at first, I wasn't really like, I wasn't really as comfortable lifting in front of people. Ooh. Obviously, I'm lifting a lot less than the other guys. Yeah. Hey, you, you can go over there. Oh, I was kind of like afraid of laughs and stuff. As I started like focusing on myself more, it definitely got easier like through time. So now I'm just just trying to get better. Hey, can you help me put it back up? Appreciate it. I got to know like my teammates and I knew like all of them started somewhere. Uh, so it's time for me to start somewhere too. One more. Come on, Ronaldo. Do the one. Bro, watch. I'm about to, I'm about to far, bro. Damn. The weight room's always a cool vibe with everybody, bro. Man, jump as far as you can. And then as soon as you hit the ground, you're jumping again. Five times. I would say the lift is like a fun environment. Hey, hey cut the cameras off for this one. Yeah. I'll put it down, bro. But we stay locked in. Three good rest. Hurt, dog. Especially after the plank. Y'all get y'all back. Tell y'all three. One, two, three. Four, four, four. Any questions you witnessed so far? No, I was, okay. We're talking about finding ourselves in stories. So think about a song that you see yourself in. Professor Q is my English professor. Oh, I really mess with Professor Q, that's my guy. Tell me what it is. It's called Shock the World by Rod Wave. No matter of fact, can I find it? Yeah. He talks about everything. Like, you gotta really listen to his lyrics and it'll hit for real, for real. There you go, right there. Tell me how you have found yourself in those lyrics. People do criticize me a lot, but I always, like, don't, like, I don't let it phase me. I say I'm pretty hard on myself. So if I read the comments on social media, so I kind of like feel down a little bit. In order for you to have understood that the way you did, you had to have had that experience before. I had that experience every day. Every day. People just be loud and wrong. And I just want to correct them, but then like, it's not my place to correct them. Because we're talking about lyrics in a song, that doesn't phase out that we can find the beauty in this as well. I'm trying to cause a problem surrounding we're wrapping up class, and I see Ryan Rossi walking in, and I completely forgot about my media obligation. This guy's got to post that, like, 30 people in the company. We done, my guy. All right. Thank you. Yep. Now, that doesn't crazy, though, for real. It was, like, a late night 2v2, me and my friends. I'm trying to use the ball in this here, and they trying to use a, a small Wilson ball. I was like, man, we not using it. Kick. Then I was like, hold on. I watched it. Switch. After I did it, I texted him because I need to get a hold of the security footage because ain't nobody gonna believe me that I did that. No matter what it takes, we gotta yeah, find it. You gotta get that, yeah. I've never heard a shot like that before. I did a few laps around the gym, jumped over the chairs and stuff. I know it's about to go viral. Welcome to Icebox. Let me know if you guys need anything. Right now we at Icebox with my brothers. We going shopping. I'm coming out the top like a toupee, but I got the dress like Wayne. Oh yeah, I ain't taking no days off. How much does this little number one cost? Which ones are you looking at? This is a little number one. So it's gonna be 14K solid white gold for 1200. Have you always been number one? Yes, I've always worked number one my whole life. What's the significance of one? I'm the one. That's fair. Yes, that. That's fair. I seen some Cuban links I like, you feel me? Seen some watches. Let me see what I can pull for you and we'll start trying some stuff on. All right. Definitely seen how you done grown into it, the player you becoming, and it's super cool to see because I already know you're going to be a superstar. I've been knowing you was going to be a superstar, but now you're at OTE with it, showing everybody your superstar, and it's only up from there, for real, for real. I know a lot of the comments and all that sometimes be negative, but, you know, just stay focused on what you got going on, you feel me? Everything will work out, so. All right, so I pulled a couple of white gold pieces for you. I've got a Sky Dweller, another Rolex, and then two chains for you. So that's gonna be your 22 and your 24. Yeah. Yeah. 
far as like Cubans growing up, I don't even know what it is, bro. It's just, mm -hmm. I ain't never seen him wear a Cuban. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, bro. It just, <laughs> he, said, he said, don't lie for the cameras. <laughs> well, that's good. You all have a little different taste then. How much are these cards again? Well over 200,000. <laughs> I'm looking, looking for something like where you walk in the building, you're like, oh, that's Romello right there. Like, you can see, you feel me? And it's like, it's shining from all the way across the room. That's what I'm looking for. If you did do a pendant, is there like a design or something you have in your head? Yeah, it probably had like some basketball logo. I mean, you did say you were the one earlier, right? Maybe before you leave, I can get you some prints just to kind of get the ball rolling on some designs. All right, man. Did you know that we designed your trophy for OTE? Yeah, I've seen that, yeah. Few of us have actually been to a couple of the OTE games that we've seen you play. I was told by my daughter to tell you that your laugh is bouncy. So, <laughs> I don't know what that means, but. Just be dunking that jar. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so we did some designs. We got two options for you based on what you said. I look like this one, because it got my name on it. Oh, yeah. All right, well then I think we'll just go with that. All right, thank you. Hopefully next time we see you, you'll be holding the Icebox Trophy, okay? All right, thank you. Thanks, guys. More enough to take over. It's gonna be jam-packed weekend with a lot of highlights. You, a lot of action in this. Ooh. And it all starts here today. Quick team practice. Hey. I told you that. All the teams in Atlanta participate, but then we also bring guys from the affiliate teams. That was the job, that's the job. This is our first time ever playing with each other. We don't have no chemistry, nothing, but we're making it work. Let's go, Nate! Turn him, turn him, out, Turn him! Turn him! Got that, Nate. Cam Wilder was our coach for the team. We didn't show up to the morning practice. All right, let me get a line. So we had to bring in Coach Rick. He's making his debut this weekend. Wing, wing, up top. We get a ball on each line. You said wing, no, wing, 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 wing. Let's get to the wing, Nate. Is he an actual coach or not? Nah, he's not a coach. <laughs> That's a corner. Wait, get that corner, 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 corner. My fault, my fault, my fault. Hey, Rick, my fault. get out of here, man. My fault, my fault. I don't think he's ever coached before. Yeah. They in his life. It's coach <laughs> Ricky. Five for practice. We were kind of bummed that we had to wake up that early. Break it down, break it down, yeah. But it was chill. It was cool. It was fun. We have some good fun out here, but seriously, tonight, let's keep it competitive. Let's get after it. Hey, Team Cam on three. One, two, three. Yeah. Welcome back to the heart of Atlanta, Georgia. TakeOver is like the OT version of the NBA All-Star Weekend. It's going to be jam-packed weekend with a lot of highlights, a lot of action. In an event like this, you have to, you know, compete against the best of the best, but also have fun at the same time and get the people to show. Bro, why don't they take Eli Ellis, bro? And it's starting off with the takeover five. 5v5, it's like the best players here at OT, so I know it's going to be competitive. Team Cam versus Team Davis. It's a big crowd, kids chanting my name. I got to get some buckets tonight. Hey, here we go. It's about that time. Yo, oh, oh, oh. Eli right off the bat, four points. Oh, 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 my God. We came out strong. No way. You. Bella's waiting to get in, man. He's trying to hoop. Oh! Everybody was shooting spin threes, windmill dunks. He spin dunks, all that. It's a show for real. Man, we going in. We going in. Everybody was trying to make highlight plays, so I had to get lost. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going in. Get your ass out of here. Trying to get some buckets. Let's go, we out! Let's go, we out! Oh, shit. That wasn't even a shot. I tried to throw a lob. Nah, let go! Come on! Yo! Sit down, sit down! The ball just slipped and hit the rim, and I was like, ah. You keep f***ing around, you gonna stop out. It's a fun event, but we're competitive. We try and win. Tie game going into halftime. Next time, that's what we really gonna talk about playing some defense on, all right? We're like mid-timeout, and I see my mom on the sideline. Yeah. My mom's Monica. She's a singer. She's an actress. Definitely basketball mom vibes. I wouldn't say she's a basketball mom because I, I don't think she knows anything about basketball. <laughs> so she learned on the fly. I went on one of her tours, and then all her fans like following. That's when it hit me, for real. She's been to more OTE games than for real. any high school game. Me and my mom are super close. We've always been close. She pushed me to be better and give back to the fans a little bit. 
How you how I'm gonna get it? I've always kind of had a large following. When I got to OT, it just. All right, look, look, look. I'm gonna start you in the second half. Right. First shot better be a four point. If you miss, I swear you're coming out. I bet. Yeah, y'all five go, y'all five go. I'm trying to show that I can be trusted. Hey, Melo, I'm serious. Remember, four. And since I'm smaller, I have something to prove every game. This is my chance. Do it. Give me four. Cam was talking to me all game. Give me four. So I was like, I can't mess up. I'm out three. Give me four. And it went in. I felt good. Celebrating his face. After that, I'm feeling it. My whole team is. Cam is kind of used to this. He coached a little bit, RWE. But so is Team Davis. These are the best players in the country. Oh. Every time I got the ball, I just shot it. The game's getting tighter. Oh. Ooh. Team Cam now has the lead. Oh my goodness. Mikel is like that, man. Oh. 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 Let's see what he draws up this time. Oh. What is going on right now? <laughs> what is going on? Oh it's a tight quarter right now. We're doing our thing. All of a sudden. The dunk shot oh, down by two with a few seconds left. Oh my God, there's no better way to have it. Team Cam gets a chance to win. Go right, go 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 go. Luckily, it's the money minute, so every point is double. So, listen, the that's all we're doing. Look, here. Oh. Last play of the game, Eli drew it up. A game-winning play being drawn up for the take over five. Great play, that was not cute. Come on, team. Let's lock let's, let's this in. Everybody standing up. See who get the W, baby. We are jumping around. The game winning dunk. I think it was like Carter that caught some fishy. Oh my goodness. I, I don't know what's going on right now. Could he have blew the game? Did Cam blow the game? What up, OT fan? Man, why y'all still hanging around as part of the video? It's over. For real. We know you loved our video, so check out these that are just like it over here. And while you at it, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Yeah, you know we never disappoint.